first of the character classes are the archers. They're your run-of-the-mill long-distance units. They have low health, low armor, so it's best to keep them out of the thick of battle. Uh, but their strength lies in their ranged attacks. Black mages are, are particularly deadly, capable of completely devastating your opponent. Uh, entirely with their summoning abilities, instant death abilities, or very high damage and explosive abilities. Clergy units are basically the healers and defenders of Zadokon. Although high damage output is not their strong point, their ability to preserve allies proves to be an invaluable asset. Commanders are a staple of your main support troops. Their main function is to increase the amount of commands that you can use per round and lower the cost of deploying units. Cultists excel at disrupting a well-entrenched enemy defensive line. A common characteristic of cultists is that they require some sort of self-sacrifice to use their powerful abilities. Horsemen have the ability to strike quickly and very lethally in one turn. They excel at hovering outside of the effective range of an enemy unit and then attacking before it has the opportunity to strike. This also makes horsemen great assault units. The nature class is uniquely multifaceted. It has the ability to stun other units and cancel their movements, but it also features high damage units like the Channeler or the Chieftain. Scouts are best used for hit and run tactics. They make up for their mediocre damage, low health, and armor with a high amount of action points and deadly skills such as dodge and poison. Shapeshifters are a very solid counter to an opponent's high cost units. If your opponent plays a high cost unit and you shapeshift into it, you essentially have the unit without the high cost. Siege units have a very long range, extremely destructive capabilities, but limited action points. They're best used as a support for your army. Siege units are also great for disrupting a well-entrenched opponent, uh, destroying structures, or threatening your opponent's casters. The soldier class mainly consists of low-cost, medium damage, medium to high armor units that are very specialized. All of them, except the pikeman, are melee units. They are good for protecting rear units from ranged attacks, like with a shield bearer, or attacking approaching units, like with a pikeman, or being a forward rushing juggernaut, like the warrior or the swordsman. Structures tend to occupy support roles, such as producing units, generating commands, healing, bolstering army attributes, or just having basic defensive capability. White mages are good for empowering allies and incapacitating enemy units at long range, mostly with their wide range of stuns, summons, and buffs. And finally, the worm class units are probably the highest cost units in the game, but this is with good reason because they completely change gameplay to an extreme level. Skills such as resurrection or conversion upon death are extremely powerful. Thank you.